well, I didn't know uh, that my child was uh, dyslexic. Uh, uh, not for a long time. In fact, he'd almost finished his school, school uh, uh, education. And uh, I guess I hadn't even any understanding of dyslexia. And, uh, and the thing that worries me a lot and makes me very embarrassed, even now, was the way I treated him. Uh, I, I used to blame him, you haven't done this work, and you're a lazy person, you don't know how to write, you're you know, all over the page. And, uh, and he, was, he was a wonderful kid, and uh, otherwise bright, when we talked and so on. And I feel really, really, even to this day, this is now almost 40, 50 years, uh, that um, I still think of those days when he was a child and uh, I, instead of giving him uh, help, trying to see the problems that he was facing, I was always saying, oh, you're a lazy person, you're a lazy kid, you're always playing, you don't work. And even to this day, uh, I, when I think of that, uh, I cry sometimes. So I think uh, there is, of course, uh, a greater knowledge of uh, dyslexia. So I think parents have to be very gentle about it and, uh, and see that most kids are not just being difficult, nasty, unpleasant. Kids are very nice people. They want to do the best. They want to please their parents. They want their parents' uh, pride, parents. So we shouldn't just dismiss that and say, oh, He's lazy, he's idle, but be sympathetic. And, uh, and of course today we have a much better mechanisms of uh, detecting that. In those days we didn't have, you see. We, we grew up part, part of the time in Sweden, which has one of the best uh, medical services. Even there it was difficult to uh, work out. Even the doctors, so I would take him to doctors now and then, and I don't think they really uh, understood it also. And, uh, and the headmasters were getting angry with him. There's nothing to be angry with him. It is not he who, d who brought it about. So he was born with it. And our ro the role as parents is to help the child and uh, to find ways in which we can um, deal with uh, dyslexia. Now I'm glad to know that in Nairobi at least we have, a, have an excellent school which does that. And the government uh, should also uh, be aware of it. The Ministry of uh, uh, Education, uh, if they don't have one, they should have a small department dealing with this particular uh, problem. The thing is that with my own son, he perhaps, he perhaps told me uh, and he's going a bit older and then he has devoted his life since then to helping people, kids who are dyslexic. And he has developed uh, various programs uh, which enable uh, people with dyslexia, could even be grown-up people, uh, who through mechanisms he has established uh, can read it very properly. So, so I'm very glad when he came here and we were able to visit you and then he, 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 we had a, had a discussion. The great thing about my son is that he, he didn't give up. And then once having done that, he just committed his life to helping kids of that kind. And, uh, and I think uh, I would say again uh, to uh, our ministry uh, that uh, they have to come to terms, they have to understand what this is all about, why some people have it and some don't, and how we can, what measures we can take so that uh, people with dyslexia 
have the same opportunities, same facilities as people without. I was very impressed by what I saw. Here were these, uh, you know, a small group of people, a small family almost, uh, you know, sacrificing so much so they could set up this school and uh, under very difficult circumstances, financial and otherwise, uh, and, uh, and uh, how they were giving all their time, all their effort to that. And also to see so many students there. I had not imagined that you had such a large uh, enrollment, but that was also good to know that uh, that a uh, number of uh, kids had now the benefit of, uh, of the kind of education that they need. And uh, so I came home very impressed, so did my son. Uh, and the point is that there must be, the, the number of children you are educating must be a very small proportion of, of kids in the country. So it has to be, <coughs> it has to be not just <coughs> Uh, helping your school, it is helping people through the country and we all have an obligation. <laughs>